Hi guys, welcome to Diava Art Plus. So today my plan is uh, to show you what my painting kit looks like. So here is uh, some of the sample of uh, some of my painting uh, paint at home kit. And my paint at home kit comes with the step by step painting video. So I literally show you like how I paint on a canvas using all the materials that I send you and basically all you have to do is just follow me so um yeah i'm gonna share with you this video so this is just a sample if you like any painting from my website um you will also get a video that looks something like this here which i'm gonna sh share with you in just a second so yeah it's a sample um you, if you want to paint with me this painting you can also do that uh that's why i love to share with you guys uh paint with me videos so uh let's start hi guys welcome to painting escapes my name is katika and today i'm gonna show you how to paint this painting So you're ready to paint so let's start with what material you receive in your kit so you might have a bigger canvas or maybe a smaller canvas i'm going to be painting on this bigger one but if there is any different step for the smaller canvas i will let you know as we go all right so you receive your paint in container like this so what i recommend is to take your at least half of your paint out on your paper plate not all the not, not the whole bottle but just at least half of your paint so that uh, you don't run out of your paint and also you don't mix all the colors in that same cup, right? All right, and make sure you grab a paper towel so that you can uh, dry your brush and a cup of water so you can clean your brush here. All right, so let's see what process we're gonna be using today. So these are the color that we're gonna be using today. These are acrylic paint and uh, these are the only five colors we're going to be using. White, red, orange, yellow, and green. All right, so are you ready to paint? So first, I'm going to grab my biggest brush. So now I just want to mention one more thing. If you are painting on a bigger canvas, your brush is going to be bigger. If you are painting on a smaller canvas, your brush is going to be slightly a little bit smaller. All right, so let's start painting. So first, I'm going to grab my water cup and my biggest brush. I'm just going to wipe my bristles here. And I'm just going to wipe extra water on this edge. You can also tap, tap, tap a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to start working on the background first. So let's do that. So as you can see in the original painting, there is a nice colorful background. So I'm going to start with the yellow color first. All right, so now you don't have to like completely follow me for this part. If you want to apply your yellow on some other area uh, instead of where I'm going to apply, you can definitely do that. All right, so now here I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow just like that. Just this much is good okay and then i'm gonna start working on bottom half of my canvas first so let's see this is the like center of my canvas i'm just gonna work on this bottom half of my canvas all right so let's start applying this color up and down like that so i'm gonna use a very simple strokes which is up and down like that all right so let's cover all the bottom half of our canvas now if you like to you can also use your brush this way like this way or you can also use it sideways however you think it's comfortable for you all right so let's just cover everything up and down up and down now it's i know hard to do the bottom part for this part especially you can just apply your brush strokes left and right if you are using easel if you, are, if you put your canvas on the easel like that, it will be so much easier if you go just left and right on the, on at least this bottom half, uh, like bottom of this area at least. All right, so let's just do that. Left and right down here. There is no right, no wrong. Remember, this is a painting for fun, right? All right, so again, I'm done applying this area left and right. And I'm gonna start doing up and down right here and it's okay if you go a little bit more up than the middle of your canvas like that's okay because we're gonna blend this color with the next color so that's okay if you apply more or less all 
if you are painting on a stretch canvas, um, you have edges that look something like this. You can also apply this color down here. So whatever color you use in front, you can use that color on the side and the bottom. But you can also do this at the end. It's up to you whenever you want to do that. For now, all I'm going to focus is to cover this bottom of my canvas right here. Alright, so now here I'm all done. The best part about this is um, whenever you feel like I'm going too fast, you can just pause this video and start again whenever you are done. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to my next part. If you are still working on this part, just pause the video and start again whenever you are done. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to my next color, which is orange. So, for this part, we don't have to clean our brush. So, don't worry about cleaning your brush right now. Alright, so here I'm just going to take a little bit of orange. Just maybe this much, I hope you can see that. All right, and now all I'm gonna wear, so now this is where I'm gonna apply my color. So I'm gonna leave maybe like a three or four inches from top of my canvas. If you are using a bigger canvas than what I am using today, just leave maybe like five to six inches from the top for the red color. All right, so now um, I'm just gonna apply this orange right here. You can also touch your little bit of uh, yellow down here, that's okay. Alright, so again, I'm just going up and down like that. Don't worry about blending this yellow and orange right now. We're going to do that later. And that's the next part. So for this part, we just have to do it a little bit quicker because we don't want our yellow to dry for the next part. So let's do this a little bit quicker here. Up and down, up and down. Cover the whole thing. Okay. So here I'm all done. Now I'm gonna blend my yellow and the orange together. So for this part, we don't have to take any more paint. Uh, I'm just gonna take a little bit right here because I can still see a little bit of white. So in case, if you still can see a little bit of uh, white area, just apply a little bit of uh, orange there. It will be so much easier to blend this color if you do that. Okay, so I'm just cover all of the white area here. All right, so now it's a fun time. Uh, we don't have to take any more orange. Maybe we will might be use a little bit of yellow, but let's see how it look like right now, okay? So, I mean, after we are done with this part. So now I'm not taking any more paint. I'm just gonna use like whatever I have left on my brush. All right, so now I'm just gonna go between my orange and the orange and the yellow, I'm sorry. Okay, so again, up and down like that. The more you go like this, your color is gonna blend more. So don't be scared how it looks like right now. Just keep moving your brush up and down between your orange and yellow. Just keep moving up and down like that. That's what I'm gonna do here. Now, if you feel like you have too much of orange there, it's okay, just clean your brush and then just apply a little bit of more, like a little bit of yellow down here. But I'm not gonna do anything right now. Everything is looking good on my canvas here. But that's a little tip if you feel like you have like too much orange there. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my next color, which is red. So again, I'm not gonna clean my brush for that. I'm just gonna take a little bit of red and I'm just gonna apply just on the top all of the white space I have left on the top. Up and down again, I'm keeping my brush strokes same up and down like that. Putting all the white space I have left Everywhere I can see white, I'm just adding a red here. Don't worry how your brush strokes looks like right now because you're gonna blend these colors anyways, right? Just like we did down here. All 
All right, so now we're gonna blend these two colors. So now here I'm not taking any more paint, but again, if you feel like it's not blending, you can definitely take a little bit of orange, but I don't recommend taking too much red from this point. All right, so now I'm just gonna go up and down like that. And you're gonna see it's all gonna blend very nicely together like this. If you are using this kind of a brush, uh, you might get some kind of a bristles on your canvas. Just maybe use your like a nails or just pinch it a little bit with your nails and it's gonna come out. So that's what's gonna happen if you are using this natural kind of a bristles. But this gives you a very nice um, texture on your canvas. Alright, so here I'm all done blending these two colors i still can see a little bit of white right here i don't know if you can see still see that if you just want to cover that just take a little bit of orange don't take too much and just add like little small strokes there and just go up and down on that area and it's covered right so yeah it's pretty simple right all right so here i'm all done you can take your time to Go back on some area if you want to, or maybe add more colors if you want to. Maybe down here a little bit, maybe up here a little bit. This is completely up to you how you want your background. Maybe darker, lighter. Some people really like a little bit lighter shade, lighter background. So you can definitely use a little bit more yellow. Some people really like like darker red colors. So you can definitely bring this a little bit more down if you want to. All right, so now here I'm all done. Uh, I'm just going to clean my brush. So sometimes uh, these brushes are very hard to clean so what I like to do is just go all the way down in the bottom of my cup. Think of like you're painting on the bottom of your cup and um, it's gonna clean very easily. Alright so here I'm all done. Wipe it on the edges. Tap 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 a little bit. And just use your paper towel to clean that extra water all right so the next color I'm gonna use is green for the grass down here okay so let's do that for that I'm still using my same big brush all right so now for some of you this yellow might be still wet and that's okay because we don't want our green our grass to look just one color right if if our yellow is still kind of a little bit wet um you will get some of the area darker and some of the area lighter and that's the beauty about painting on that on that right okay so let's do this if your yellow is dry you don't have to worry about you can definitely add a little bit of yellow as you go and add this green color all right, so here I'm just gonna add, take a little bit green here, and I'll show you, don't worry, um, like, don't worry about this, I'll show you as we go if you wanna add some more yellow there. All right, so here, I'm gonna start adding this green. So there are two ways you can do that. One is very simple way, second is kind of a little word. So uh, I'm gonna show you both ways, whichever uh, is, easier for you you can uh, do that i'll show you both way i just recommend to just see me you get you're gonna get more idea all right so now here i'm just gonna start from bottom and then bringing my paint up okay and i'm just gonna bring it a little bit more up so this is tall i'm just gonna go right now okay so i'm just gonna start from bottom bringing my paint up this is the one way again i'll show you the second way for the other side all right, so something like this. The second way is all you have to do is flip your canvas like this and then uh, do the opposite. Start from the top and then bring your paint down. So here I'm gonna take a little bit more green starting from top bringing my paint down. This is a lot more easier, right? So yeah, I'm just going to start from top, bringing my paint down. All 
All right, so do you, do you see how it looks like just very even uh, grass? You know how the nature is, right? It's not perfect. We don't have to make anything perfect here. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit more green and this time I'm gonna use my brush side like this way. So like this and I'm gonna do the almost same thing but this time I'm not gonna create any straight line so here I'm just gonna start from top and then maybe add like a little diagonal kind of line like like might be not left side maybe right side doesn't really matter okay so something like this start from top bring your paint down doesn't go doesn't matter how which direction you want to go like I'm just gonna go left right like that bring making some of my brush strokes a little bit longer. Some of them are like very short. So that's why I say there is no like no wrong thing here. You can just create your own way, however you think you want to do it. And I'm also gonna add like some small one like that, like super small one. So here I'm all done. Now I'm just gonna flip my canvas back again and see the magic. <laughs> uh, now it's the time. Like if you still want to bring uh, some more grass a little bit up higher, you can definitely do that. Flip your canvas back again. Uh, do that, or maybe just leave it like that and do it from here again. However you think it's comfortable for you. I'm still just gonna add a little bit more grass same way so let's do that again all right so that's all i'm gonna do now we are done with this brush so i'm just gonna leave it in my water cup and um I mostly like to just clean it before uh, I put this brush away because what happened is um, if you put this brush anywhere else and with the paint on um, your brush your bristles like it's gonna get dry and you won't be able to use these brushes again so if you want to use these brushes again just clean it and then move on to your next step all right so now we are done with that brush now I'm gonna grab my small brush so again I'm still gonna be using my green but this time I'm gonna make like slightly a little bit darker green so let's do that so for this uh, we're gonna be using more green and just maybe tiny bit of uh, red not too much all right so what I like to do is uh, just grab a little glob of green so for this part you don't have to like take the whole uh, green uh, because what is gonna happen is if you don't like that color that you just create uh, you are just gonna run out of that green color and you won't be able to create more colors right so here yeah, I'm just gonna grab a little glob of green like that just maybe a little bit more so as you can see I take my paint green just the three times and I'm just gonna take a tiny tiny bit of red not too much maybe this much is enough Right, and mix it all together it's not gonna be a bit different just maybe tiny tiny bit different so mix it all together mix 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 so you can see the difference now this is the regular green this is the darker green I made all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back and add some uh, more lines for the grass so let's do that all right so for this uh, to be honest you can just randomly start adding uh, grass that looks something like this might be on the left side right side um however you think you want to do it just so very small strokes i'm adding you can also add some longer ones if you want to but like i said there is no right nor wrong in here just keep adding this kind of lines and it's gonna create that nice grass look that we have on our original painting So you can create more colors, color as you go. If you out of that green, just create a little bit more. Just 
so you can also like definitely overlap all of your grass line on top of each other if you want to so you don't have to like find a plain area and add this uh, green you can just cross your line overlap them that's okay the more you go it's gonna be more better so I'm just gonna keep adding more and more here what is better for this part All right, so now this is all I'm gonna do with my grass. Now I'm just gonna clean my brush here and then I'm gonna work on my dandelion. So let's clean our brush. Um, now it's a time to think about how many you want to add. I'm just gonna add like maybe three. I'm just gonna follow the painting that we have here. Now, if you want to, just maybe add one or maybe two or maybe more than three, you can do that. So again, my dandelion is going to be right here, big one. And the other two is going to be one there, one there. Again, you can just uh, play around where you want to like add your dandelion. So now here I'm going to start adding my first big one, which is going to be right here. So for that, I'm going to be using my small brush and a green, I'm sorry, white paint. Alright, so first I'm gonna figure out where the center of my dandelion gonna be. So let's say maybe I'm gonna add mine right here. So my center is gonna be right here. So I'm just gonna make gonna make a little dot. I hope you can see my dot. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Alright, so now all I'm gonna do is add like a like a plus sign. <laughs> so let's do that. So I'm gonna start from here, bring my paint out like that. It's up to you how big, how small you want to make it. I am not going to be making like too big, just maybe a little bit bigger. All right, and again, one coming down, one coming on the sides. So make sure it looks like a little even size so you will have a nice circle later. And it's okay if it's not a straight line. We don't need any straight line here, remember, okay? As you can see, this is a little bit longer like than what I have here. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit longer, a little bit more wider like that. All right, so now I'm just gonna add like a nice X now. So uh, again, I'm just gonna add like one line in between all the line I have there. Now you don't have to go over like on your one line too many times from now because um, we don't need to, all right? So here yeah, I'm just gonna go and add all line in between those line. Alright, so from now, just very randomly I'm gonna add lines. So let's say I have a little space right here. All I'm gonna do is just very randomly adding this kind of a line. Like you don't have to count how many you are adding from this point. It might be a little bit longer, smaller, um, doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat the same thing for all other, that little space area I have left there. So again, some of them are going to be a little bit longer, smaller, just like that. Don't count, you don't have to count. So every time I'm adding this line, starting from the center. So here we are done with that nice uh, like little circle that we need to create here. All right, so now the next part is add a little kind of a star shape. So let's do that. So now for this part, you don't have to go on all of the line, just maybe some of them. So let's do you remember where we added our plus sign? Let's add the star on those lines first. It's okay if you can find them, uh, those lines. Um, just think of like this is the that line, and this is the bottom line, this is the side line. Okay, so let's do that. You know how the star looks like, right? So let me show you a very simple way you can add your star. 
So do you remember how we had like a plus sign and then X sign? That's all we're gonna do for that uh, star line that I'm talking about. Okay, so let's do that. So again, here's my line. All I'm gonna do is add a plus. It's okay if it's a little bit bigger or smaller. It's okay, you don't have to like worry a lot about this part. Okay, so here's my plus here. And then I'm just gonna add like a little X. And here is my nice star. All right, so let's repeat the same thing for all other uh, three lines. Okay, so again, plus and X, plus and X. Now it's okay if your uh, star does, don't look same. Like as you can see, this is bigger, smaller, this is smaller. So we don't need any uh, star that looks all same. All right, so now, uh, Remember we added like little X here, like big X. Now we're gonna focus on adding stars on those lines. Alright, so now we are done. Now I'm gonna add more stars on just very randomly to be honest, maybe once or twice between uh, that area. So just maybe like one here. As you can see, it's not perfect. We don't need any perfect here. If you feel like it's hard for you to do the stars for the other small one, you can just add maybe a like little plus sign. That's okay too. So on some of them, I add one, just some of them is, I add two, so here two, just maybe one here, so. Just keep adding wherever you think you have more space. I'm just gonna keep adding more and more here. Again, it's up to you how much, how like how many you wanna add. All right, so that's where I'm gonna stop. For me, it's very hard to stop. So if y'all like me, that's okay. It's very normal when you are painting. Okay, so now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just add like tiny little dots everywhere. So for that, uh, you can either use your bristles, like your brush, or you can also use your back of your brush. But I'm just gonna be using my brush here. And just very randomly, to be honest, I'm just making like little dots. I hope like you can see that. Some of them are like very big, some of them are like very small. Okay, I'm also gonna add some on this edgy surround area. All right, that looks good. Now, um, it's also like flying a little bit, so I'm gonna add like some of my dots right here. So there is no shape, right? Just very adding a little small dots right there that's all okay now i'm gonna work on my other dandelions and these are gonna be very small than what i have here so this is my second gonna be right here and third gonna be right here so let's work on that remember uh how we add our big one first like add like a plus sign first and then the x so let's repeat that so here is gonna be my 
second one again this is gonna be like a very small one okay my here's my plus sign okay let me show you my second one where i'm gonna add my second one my second one is actually gonna be just right here it's almost the same size that i have right here okay so that's my second one okay and then i'm just gonna add x and then keep adding more lines remember you did on top it's just the same thing Same thing right here for the third one. Since it's very small, I'm not adding like too many lines here. Just maybe like a couple or maybe three, I guess. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do. Now, um, again, just like we did for the top of our this area, add a, like a little star shape on the plus and the x let's do that if you feel like it's hard for you to add like very small stars for the small ones you can also just add maybe x so i'll show you so what you can do is just add like a x first like that and just add one line in the center like that so here we are done that's all we're gonna do again for the small one if you feel like it's very like too many lines it's hard for you to do it uh just add like a little x and just add line one in the middle all right so let's repeat the same thing for both of our uh, dandelion we have As you can see, I don't have too much space, so I'm just adding like uh, just one or two in the middle of all those lines. all right so here we are all done now uh, i'm gonna do the same thing like i did on top adding that little dots everywhere uh so let's do that just a little white on brush and then tiny little dots everywhere like that there is no right or wrong again same thing for my third one here All right, so now we are done. We're gonna add almost the same thing, uh, just maybe a little green this time. So you can clean your brush here. I'm just gonna clean my brush here. So 
So this part is like completely optional. Uh, like I did this painting so many times. Uh, some people just keep the white part. Uh, you don't have to like do the green part, but I'm gonna show you and I'm just gonna follow my original painting I have here. So here I'm gonna take a little bit of green like this. All I'm gonna do is uh, go back on that center area and add this kind of a line. Remember the plus sign, X sign? That's all we're gonna do. So here's my plus first. And as you can see, it's like very tiny, small um, area I'm covering, maybe like how to put an inch size. All right, so here's my plus. I'm just gonna add like a little X. And to be honest, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not adding any more lines here. So again, let's do that for all other uh, two we have. So again, plus and X. Okay, let's do the same thing here, plus x, okay, and then I'm just going to take a little bit more green and I'm just going to add like a tiny little dots closer to those uh, green line. Just like a very small little dots everywhere. Okay, let's do the same thing for a couple more. You can also go on your lines, like you don't have to avoid that. Avoid your lines, just go on your lines too if you want to. Okay, the, so that's all I'm gonna do for me. Like I said, it's very hard to stop, but um, here I'm all done. Now I'm gonna add stems for those dandelions. So now for this, I'm just gonna use my plain green I have. So here I'm just going to take a little green and um, I'm just going to add like a tiny little stem. So you know how the nature is, right? It's not perfect. We don't need to add any like very thin small line. Alright, so don't worry about uh, making your lines very thin or small, okay? So now uh, let's start with a very small one right here. So let's see. I'm going to start adding my line from here. This line is not even touching my dental line to be honest. Uh, so here I'm just gonna add like a line that looks something like that. Uh, you don't have to add like straight line, you can also add like a little curvy line like that if you want to, like something like this maybe. Alright, so same thing right here for the big one. Alright, so again it's not even touching my dandelion. Okay, I'm gonna come all the way down like that. To the green area only, I'm not quite coming like all the way down down but just maybe stopping, maybe right there. All right, so now the next part is super simple part. I'm just gonna add some more uh, like taller, longer grasses. So let's do that. Okay, so um, this is completely up to you how many you wanna add. I'm just gonna add like maybe three or maybe four of them, the big ones. Okay, so um, let's say I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna add like big one right here. Second one maybe right here. Third one is uh, maybe right here. I'm just crossing my dandelion uh, stem here and just maybe one more there. Okay, so now we're gonna add the red. So for that, we have to clean our brush. All right, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of red like that on just tip of my brush. Okay, and then I'm just gonna just dab, dab, dab and create that tiny little dot. So let's see, I'm just gonna add uh, like a little triangle kind of a shape, but it's like a little longer triangle, I guess. So all I'm doing is making dot, dot, dot and creating that little triangly shape so something like that all right so let's add on all of other stamp we just add here so you can add it, add it like maybe big one small one it's completely up to you so this one is a bit bigger one something like this 
like I said, there is no right, no wrong. All right, let's do that for other ones. If you want to, you can also definitely cross uh, the other dandelion stem we have. This is a bit small one. gonna add maybe a couple more down here because I don't want to keep my this area like just a grass area so I'm also gonna add like this red thing here so let's see just very randomly think of like this is the stamp just find any line and think of like that it's a stamp okay so this is the line I hope you can see that I'm just gonna like create that dot 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 there and if you don't find any line that you like, you can just create your own, right? Okay, so there's my one. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add maybe one more for this line here. Just maybe one last on this other side. Alright, so I guess here I'm all done. Again, uh, whenever you are done, make sure you clean your brushes. Otherwise, it will get dry and you won't be able to use it again, right? So here I'm all done. I hope you guys um enjoy painting with me uh, make sure you clean all of your brushes with a little bit of this soap water so you can use these brushes again and um if you guys really enjoyed uh, make sure you share your experience your photos of your painting and yourself on our social media and you might get a chance to be in some of our uh, free kit and uh, again i hope you guys enjoy painting with me and i will see you next time whenever we paint again all right bye so i hope you guys enjoy painting with me and if you do make sure you check out my website to see more uh different options for the painting and um yeah if you like any uh painting from there you can definitely uh, purchase it from me and you will receive all the art supplies you need and we can just paint together right so again thank you so much for painting with me i will see you next time for my another um painting video or maybe a diy video Thank you so much. Bye.